Hello, this is Oatman, and welcome back to another episode of the Vanilla Oak and Stone server. And in today's episode, it looks like we're going to be building a cube world tree for red. We're here at his jungle area here. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. Beautiful, amplified jungle here. Gorgeous. I love it. Um, and he's kind of he's kind of modeling his situation after cube world here. He's got like he wants a bunch of red stony projects, but he wants to kind of make it look kind of artificial, so he decided to go with like a cube world -y sort of look. Where'd my fish go? Where'd my salmon go? It's the food of my people. There it is. Because I'm Alaskan, and there's lots of salmon here. And so, the reason I'm fishing, you might wonder, you might wonder why I'm fishing. The reason I'm fishing is because um, there's no food here. <laughs> and I lost my cart halfway down the track on my way here. And, uh, and Red doesn't have any good food situation here. So I'm fishing. <laughs> I stole a couple pieces of his string so I could fish. Uh, so I also stole a little bit of string from him so I could make a bed out of it too. Like 12 pieces. So I stole a total of like 14 pieces of string. And if it's really a lot of concern, I'll repay it back because I have infinite string. So, But anyway, so I'm just getting a little food situation. Then we're going to get working on this cube world tree. So here's a fish coming. Thank you. There we go. We'll cook him up. Cook him up here. Where is Red's bed? Does Red not sleep here? So lucky here. He's replacing all the grass and stuff and the dirt and whatnot with the uh, uh, clay. Uh, so it looks like Cube World, kind of. Um, now, I've never done a Cube World series, but I've played a lot of Cube World. Um, and I've even designed a Cube World tree off camera in a creative world. In a creative world world. In a creative mode world. Let's cook some of this fish. I caught a clownfish earlier, too. This should sustain us throughout the episode, I'd say. Um, so, uh, the total was 5 iron, if you remember from the from the video where he said he wanted the tree. Um, I believe... No. This is not how this was. I've got to remember how I built this thing. It was like... One of those, 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 one of those. Is this right? Hold on. No. Let me, let me, let me think to my ears real quick here. It was like, it was like this. No. Why do I keep doing this wrong? Come on, I'm the tree guy. There we go. That was about the thickness of it. And then it goes out like a soul. So, um, and at the base of the cube world trees, now I've never built a cube world tree, so it's not going to look quite as, uh, it's not going to be the same <laughs> as the kind of trees that I'm typical, as I typically build. But since I am the tree guy on oak and stone here, actually I have a piece of sand here. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So now this, since this isn't my typical kind of tree, um, it's uh it's gonna be a little bit trickier for me. Whoa. It's gonna be a little bit trickier for me to build. However, I do kinda have a little bit of an advantage here simply because I've played Cube World. Red me and Red played a little Cube World. We were gonna do a Cube World series um uh not long ago. But it, oh my gosh, somebody's banging. I don't know if you heard that. People are yelling downstairs. People are very inconsiderate today. Let's go like this. Um, but yeah, we were going to do a Cube World series, but the connection between the server I was running and, uh, Australia was not, was not good. So, <laughs> that being said, no Cube World for you. Uh, does this, does this look right? A little bit, let's, yeah, we'll call this good. That's about good thickness for a, for a base of a tree here. And the Cube World trees are not quite as rooted. They're very perfect, if you know what I mean. Which is why this trunk is a little bit different than the ones you're used to seeing. So let's take let's just take a bunch of this stuff here. Now here's how this is gonna work. If I have enough materials for this project, then yeah that looks right. If I have enough materials for this project then uh he won't get charged extra. But if I don't have enough, then I'm going to have to start charging extra because I'm going to have to start forking in my own uh, money for this situation. So, um, hopefully, for his sake, 
I have the materials, and he was able to provide enough materials. Because if he didn't, it starts costing a lot extra when uh, I start having to provide my own materials. Because it's a lot of work off camera, a lot of grindy situation. Uh, so, that being said, let's hope he has the materials for it. Is this a good height? Oh, no. Crap. So we're in the new snapshot. Uh, oh, well, I have an iron shovel. Why do I have an iron shovel? We're in the new snapshot. Um... <clears throat> what snapshot are we in? Oh, frames. There we go. And they're coming back a little bit. <clears throat> I have it so it caps off my frames a little bit. Uh, like 40-ish. So, we're in 25B. Sorry about that. There's a little blip. I don't even know if you guys noticed. My brother barged right in. He doesn't give a crap. It makes me very, very sad. It doesn't make me sad. It makes me angry. But, nevertheless, this tree... It's, this is like the worst possible time to record. It's like early... Early morning. Not early morning. It's like 11-ish, but it's early morning. But look at this tab situation. It's very cool. <clears throat> so, this is the worst time to record. This is when everybody likes to barge in and uh, do stuff. It makes me very angry. Can't hardly wait till I move out, <laughs> to be honest with you. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to put up with this for much longer. But, since as I'm not 18, I'm not going to be able to move out. Yet. <laughs> so, anyways... Uh, cube world tree, very perfect, very, uh, uh, you know, the branches are, I noticed, I was playing a little cube world today so I could prepare for this, the branches don't have, like, they have these, like, they don't have these knocked out, so it's not, like, a perfect line, and they're like, oh, God, I'm all nasally, because I just drank coffee, coffee, it makes me all nasally when I drink coffee, so the cube world trees are a lot like this. Very similar to that sort of thing. Somebody's crying. I hope you can't hear that. That makes me sad when people don't care. There we go. So we go like a so. Uh, wait. That's not how that went. So then we go. Wait. Yeah. Like this. Like this. Like this. There we go. And then they leave kind of the, the little excess dudes there. That's the cool thing about cube world trees and how they do their trees. Now, this is going to be a basic tree. Uh, this isn't going to be like a big, fancy cube world tree. Um, let's see here. And like a soul. There we go. So, uh, the big, fancy cube world trees with like all the branches and stuff, they're pretty cool. Now, if I seem a little bit, I'm not that framey, but if I do seem a little bit framey here, like, for example, when I hit F9, I only have, like, 29 FPS. The reason being is because it's a jungle, <laughs> and an amplified jungle at that. So, and if you have a computer that can handle that well, you got a pretty beast computer. I mean, my computer's handling it pretty well, so, just saying. Let me eat a salmon. <laughs> it's actually pronounced salmon, but, you know, whatever. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a pretty good sustainable food source for us. Now I don't think let's make these branches bigger. Yeah, because I don't think these are even that's taller I believe. And then we go one up and then like a soul. So we're gonna have enough brown. That's good for red. Good news for him. <coughs> I get all <clears throat> I can get a bunch of uh phlegm and gross stuff when uh when I'm when I right after I drink my morning coffee. Which is kind of gross, but you gotta deal with it. So we'll just kind of. They're like slightly imperfect, but they're still very perfect compared to like Minecraft trees. Uh, custom trees, anyway. Let's see. And then this connects. Perfect. This doesn't need to be here. And then this can go kind of around here. Yeah, like so. And there we go. So this is a very artificial looking tree in Minecraft, but in Cube World it looks very nice. Um, and since clay is the closest thing to any block you'll find in Cube World, uh, this I'll dress this up in a bit. Hold on, because this doesn't look quite right. It needs to be more round. Let me. Yeah, because this. Yeah, hold on. Let's bulge it out the other way here. And then, we'll, oops, there we go. Got to make this look a little bit more round. Let's kind of, there we go. 
That looks a little better, I think. Maybe. Maybe. No. I don't like this. We'll situate it. We'll situate it. We'll situate it. Hmm. Yeah. For now, this is what we'll do. Mmm, yeah, pretty close. Let's go sleep. Let's go sleep, and then we'll go back to tree and... Uh, yeah, that's way too triangular. We're going to have to round that up a bit. Uh, see, Nico was on. We would we were uh, chit-chatting a bit. There we go. So Pig's back on, back on the server. He's going to start doing videos, apparently, from what I understand. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. That's cool. I like Pig. And everybody likes Pig. I told him that he needs to start getting more active. And he said, okay. So, that's what he's doing. That's And that makes me happy. Because I don't want to have to tell anybody that can't be on because of inactivity. Because it makes me sad. So, we go, like, no, wait, what? Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Treen. <laughs> Um, so this is looking, this is going to look really cool, I think, when I get it done. Uh, okay. It doesn't look quite round yet, but we're going to, we're going to work on that. Right now, we just kind of want the basic ring around this dude. Uh, so that it looks cool. Uh, now Red's got a lot of work to do on this thing if he wants to make it look like it's from Cube World. Like this whole area. But he's doing a pretty good job of it so far. He's got the little tent down there and the little bedroll and that kind of thing. It's pretty cool, I think. So, kudos to him for doing that. However, okay, this doesn't, let's go back to the original way we had this here. It's so weird digging up leaves with a pickaxe, man. It's so weird. <laughs> it's not really a leaf, though. It's clay. So, a lot of this clay is coming from the secret Red Oats Mesa. Which you've seen in the last episode from... Not last episode, the episode before last with the Red Oats, Rocks, and Minerals. Alrighty. Now, we kind of got to go... We got to kind of situate a situation to make it kind of connect to here a bit. Now, this seems a little cattywampus when you first do it. But check it out. It'll make a good, uh, it'll make a good looking situation here. Now check this out. It'll make it look more round and more like a tree. You'll see, you'll see. And then it'll connect to there. We'll call that good for now. Yeah, see? See, see, see? Well, and then we'll, and then this is, this is just all part of the shaping process of making a tree. Um. It's very intricate process, if you will. So, Red is very lucky to have gotten one of the Oats House of Tree Trees, if that makes sense. Whoops, there we go. So yeah, Oats House of Trees, uh, if you're a member of Oakenstone and you're watching this, then come on down, get a nice tree. I'll do even even fancy pants cube world trees, you know. I'll do I'll do just about anything. I like making trees. Okay, now that's way too pointy looking for Cube World. So, whoa, I'm a little framey. Alright, so that being said, we're going to keep situating this dude. Actually, actually, yeah. But yeah, if you're on a member of Oak and Stone and you have a, you want a tree to be built, or a series of trees, like I still got to do Hagoon's trees, but since he's not going to be on, Vanilla for a while, I have a little bit of time to do that. So, I told Red that, um, sure they don't have tree houses in Cube World, but this would be a cool tree to do a tree house in, simply because of how kind of artificial it sort of looks. So, boy, my voice sounds deep in the morning. <laughs> I just, I can feel the deepness of my voice. All right, let's, let's do this guy. Da, 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 da. And we'll do this. So I recently watched Lego Movie. Boy, is that a good movie. You need to watch Lego Movie. Alrighty. Now this can kind of... Uh, let's kind of put this together a bit. Here. Wait. What? <laughs> Does that... Okay. It's good enough. It's good enough. 
It's a tree. It's a tree. It's got to be a little imperfect. Even if it's cube world. So. Mm, no. Let's do something like this instead. We'll go like a so. And then, well, man, the sun's shining right in my face. I've got my curtain open for the first time in forever. And it's just very, very bright in my eyes. And I can't hardly see that well. I may have to situate that in a bit. Let me see. Oh. And then we kind of go. And then like so. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not making very much noises. Um, it's been a while since I did a full build on Camry. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Well, we got to cover that branch. That's one thing for sure. And then we got to kind of situate the situation. Situate the situation a bit. Oh, gosh. i got to close these curtains. Damn. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Eat a fish. Because we have some fish. Alrighty. So we got to cover up that branch. Because that branch doesn't need to be there. It's not one of the branches that are mandatory. So I've been doing Oak and Stone episodes for 50... One episode. This is episode 51 today. That is insanity, if you ask me. That is ridiculous. I never would have thought that I would have got to 50 episodes of Oak and Stone. Of course, I've never really got to 50 episodes of anything else, but uh, I just recently hit episode 10 of Krakenstone today as well. Same day, actually. That's 51 of Oak and Stone. But still, though, that is insanity. I can't believe that I made I made 50 videos of Oak and Stone. That is so amazing. Let's see. Ha. Like a soul. Let's kill this guy. Want to kind of round this out a bit. There we go. Alright, now to make this look a little more round instead of a little more squarular, which is a mandatory situation, we're going to kind of Kind of go against the grain a bit, like so. Yeah, that looks cool. Looks cool. Looks cool. And there we go. So in creative, this was really easy build. <laughs> I didn't really think about how it was going to be in survival mode, but that's okay. It's very fun. I love my trees. This is going to be a cool tree when it's done. I got that gross stone branch there. It's an oak stone, stone oak. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, Red Oats, Rocks, and Minerals. We still haven't opened up for business 100% yet. Uh, we got a little bit of things we got to do yet to it. We got to label all the prices and stuff. We have all the inventory and stock in there, including some of the Prismarite, which is the new stones in the new snapshot, which is very, very cool. The new stones. And they're very pretty building block. And since it classifies under Rock and Mineral, you can get it there. You can also special order stuff there, too, which is something that. Uh, Jagtastic Rocks, or whatever it is he's calling it, doesn't have. So, come on down to Red Oats Rocks and Minerals. <laughs> oh, gosh. Our uh, our economy is so corrupt on Oak and Stone. <laughs> oh, gosh. It is so, so dirty. <laughs> like the, uh, like Nico, he's like, he's like a dirty evil overlord. He's going to have, like, one of the... Because he captured, like, a uh, guardian, one of the new uh, water mob, mobs. And he's going to put it, like, in his floor or something. And he's going to be, like, an evil overlord. It's going to be awesome. So, that's cool. And then Red Oats probably will have a competitor. So, <laughs> that's cool. Alrighty. So, this is getting to look a little bit more round here. You can kind of see what we're doing a bit here. We don't want these guys because that the edges are way too sharp there. Don't want Red to hurt himself upon such edges. Okay. Like a soul. Alright, that looks good. Let's take a peek at it. Yeah, that looks good. That's starting to look a little more roundish. Now we gotta go up, because we can't have a flat root or tree, I guess. Um so we'll go like like that and oh no whoa that was close he 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 alright so trees and cube world <laughs> very very different from your 
average tree. Dang it. Okay. Uh, there we go. Alrighty. Round. Whoops. Now this is just all off the cuff here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not looking at any reference pictures or anything right now. So. <laughs> Yeah. That's a thing. Ah, dang it. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Like so. And then we'll move those up a bit. Hello, bling blong. Who message? Okay. Recording. Give me a sec. Sec. I think Nico's going to pop on the server. So. Alrighty. Sauls says, it's okay. You're famous now, Nico. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. Mm, I was said I was gonna say I was gonna pause, but I don't think I'm gonna. Um, I probably will finish this tree off Camry. Um, simply because it is a bit of a... A bit of a task. So... But I will get it done. So, that being said... Uh, well, no, I want to, I want to get the episode to be a little bit longer, so I'll keep building with you guys for a little bit. Okay. Like that. We want this thing to look a little less square. There we go. I know it's hard to make things not look entirely square in Minecraft, but you know what I'm saying? But you got it. You got to make it. Kind of a bit robust. No, we don't want this there. Alrighty. Okay. So it kind of makes it look like a layered situation. Now each... Each of these things are going to be a tad bit different. I think each of the sides and angles and whatnot. There we go. Alright. Uh... That goes like that, and then we get a angle up here, and then it starts to look like a tree when you get it rolling. <coughs> Gosh, my throat is flimmy. So, now that we got kind of a pattern situation going for this, it should get a little bit easier. I hope that Red supplied me with enough lime green clay to do this, I'm pretty sure he did, because there's still some in the chest down there. Look at this, and it all connects all perfect, like, so, that we can get rid of, I think, and that will keep. Alrighty, so this is, it's getting there, it's getting there. So, let's go do a 360 walk around the tree. It is a big tree, so... I'm giving him a little bit more than he paid for, because he paid for one that was a little bit smaller, but uh, he gets a special Red Oats discount, so, since our economy is as corrupt as it is, so, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, there we go. That's pretty cool, we gotta, there's a little brown spot there that we gotta take care of. But it's getting there, it's getting there, it's starting to look kinda cool, starting to look like a tree, I think. Let's go up real quick. We were going to do a 360 walkabout, but this is going to bother me if I don't do this. And just kind of... <clears throat> dang it. Can't reach. So my topics are kind of all over the place today, uh, which I apologize for. Like, I talked about the Lego movie for a second. Good movie, <laughs> by the way. Oh, there's Nico. Hi, Nico. Uh, say hi to YouTube, Nico. Alrighty. Told you he was going to pop on. He's trying to capture one of those guardian dudes and put him in his basement or something. I don't know what he's doing. Doing Nico things. <laughs> you are going to be famous on the internet. <laughs> oh, boy. Nico's a funny person. Alrighty. So, yes, finally. <laughs> Oh gosh. So yeah, let's take a look. 360 walkabout around here. And then we'll take a look at this beautiful tree. 
it's starting to look a lot more round than it once did, and you see, it'll get there, it'll get there for sure. Um, so the more work we do on it, the better it'll look, of course. It's definitely one of those things that takes a lot of time to do. I still didn't solve that little nip brown nipple situation, but we will we will solve the little brown nipple situation soonly. Am I almost out of feed? feed? I'm almost out of feed. Okay. Yeah, this is going to look cool. It's going to look pretty cool. So... Oh man, I should sleep. Uh, sleep. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> sleep. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Sleep. You want to sleep? Not near bed. Okay. Sleep. There we go. And he'll log back in soonly. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get rid of this cobble pillar here don't need a million cobble pillars around. Thanks. Yep. Yep. There we go. Alrighty. I'm underground so I didn't see. Nice. I think he's trying to get a guardian out of a cave. <laughs> he's like been hauling this guardian around with him for like hours trying to get him back to his base I think. I'm not sure <laughs> what the problem is but okay. He's trying to take him through the nether and stuff. It's very cool. He's got like a pet guardian. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to have enough lime green. We had a lot of brown. Ooh, I sang that really weird. <clears throat> so, let's go. Let's fix the brown nipple situation. Because that needs to be done. It's something that needs to be done. And I should have gone on Do Not Disturb when I did this. Before I did this. And there we go. Alrighty. So, now we'll situate the other parts a bit better. So it's it's still somewhat of a random situation, but still not. It still kind of has like a small bit of pattern to it. Oh, that's my last fish. Make sure viewers big old puff sometime. <laughs> big old puff. <laughs> At some point, I will. I'm guessing that's his guardian. I'm like a million miles away from spawn. Like, look at. Look at my coordinates right now. 23,000. <laughs> Our world save is very big. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. We've explored quite a bit of area around Oak and Stone. So that's cool. It's cool that we've got a lot of uh, a lot of areas and a lot of different kind of mindsets coming to certain areas and kind of blossoming different areas. It's very cool, I think. That's one thing that's very cool about Minecraft is you kind of get to see inside the minds of specific people when they build up their bases and whatnot. There we go. That looks right. <clears throat> so, let's go like this and then like like that. And, of course, it's going to need a little bit of work off camera anyway. For example, like these little dudes here. Once in a while, you need them. So, let's go up here. Up here, up here. All right, this is this is starting to look like a tree. Let's go down. See, it's a lot of uh, up and down, trial and error, just like any other kind of building thing. It's very, it's a tree though, so it's different. <laughs> and I enjoy building my trees. So, yeah, that's gonna look cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's going to look like a cube world tree, for sure. And then, of course, I'll bulb it up up top. But right now, at this point, I'm uh, running a little bit long. I didn't. I kind of overestimated this project to see kind of how long it was. I should have cut and built a lot of it off camera, but I didn't. So, uh, at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say farewell to you for this episode 51 of Oak and Stone Amazingness. I can't believe that we've done 51 episodes. That's crazy. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a dislike because it's mean. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.